Justice Thomas? Justice Alito? Under your test, citizenship is irrelevant, right? That's correct. But in Steele, it seems to have been quite relevant. <clears throat> the very first sentence of the opinion <clears throat> points out that uh, it, it defines the issue and it refers to a citizen and resident of the United States. So you are really asking us to overrule Steele in part, are you not? We, we do disagree with that aspect of Steele. Now, it's not presented here, so you don't need to opine on it. We think the better reading is that it's not, uh, that, that, that it's not a, a relevant factor. But there are, for instance, Steele also uh, reached his conclusion as a matter of subject matter jurisdiction. It thought this was a question of subject matter jurisdiction. It's pellucid under this court's precedence. That's not correct. And I don't think the court would have any hesitation in saying, well, that, that piece of the reasoning was incorrect. And so we view the citizenship as a little bit of something you can set aside, um, just given, given the ability to apply the modern framework and replicate kind of the heart of steel in terms of the confusion. Well, I'm not sure how that links with the issue of stare decisis. So you, you at, are you saying that steel has already been essentially overruled? Or are you saying that we should partially overrule it by getting rid of the citizenship it, uh, element? I, I guess I think of stare decisis as attaching to the holding of the case, and, and because, particularly because it doesn't set out a particular test. It just sets out these three amorphous factors without saying how they should apply. The courts of appeals have taken themselves as free to form different tests based on steel because of how amorphous it is. It is. So I, I don't think anything needs to be overruled, even though there are aspects of steel that the court would not bring forward. But again, on the citizenship in particular, while we don't see a principled reason in the text that citizenship should be relevant, and so it's hard to turn on that as a distinction of steel, the court does not need to opine that in this case because this is not a U.S. citizen. Well, if I were looking for the holding in steel and I were back in law school, I might look at the first sentence of the opinion, which says the issue is whether a United States district court has jurisdiction to award relief to an American corporation against acts of trademark infringement and unfair com competition consummated in a foreign country by a citizen and resident of the United States. So you say it's not a jurisdictional issue and it doesn't matter whether it's a citizen or, or a resident of the United States. It sounds to me like you're asking us to overrule steel in part. Uh, Justice Alito, if you read that as the holding in steel, then I think that this is just a situation where steel presents no impediment because it's not a U.S. citizen issue, and then you would kind of take steel out of consideration in deciding between us and petitioner's position, and we think that our position about what the focus of the statute is, is the correct one from first principles. The core of trademark is, uh, trademark infringement is consumer confusion, and if ever there were an object of solicitude, I think this is a, a really good example, in addition to being really parallel to the structure in Morrison.